Hello again, I am Blunty and behind me here is the NVIDIA campuses. And what you're about to see is a special behind the scenes look at what happens between when the ridiculously clever NVIDIA engineers scribble down their plans for the next GPU and when that GPU gets hammered into actual silicon. In short, they use massive rooms full of computers to emulate the gajillions of transistors on a GPU and then plug those huge emulators into real computers, basically tricking them into thinking they've got a real GPU plugged in. It's all very, very cool. Speaking of which, I feel like I have to apologize for the audio in this video because to keep things very, very cool, they use huge amounts of aircon and other cooling systems in the lab, of course, all of which make a hell of a din. <laughs> But please bear with it, sit back and prepare to nerd out big time. Because this is where your GPUs are born. Or at least faked in a monster bank of computers to see if they're ready to be born, technically speaking. <laughs> so we will go through the lab and I'll give you a tour and I will explain, you know, a few things what we do here. So at NVIDIA what we do is we take our uh, GPUs and, uh, you know, Tegra, you know, SOC chips. So these are digital designs, of course. So we take the design and we put the, we program these emulators to behave like our GPU. What it means is we put the design into the emulator. So once you put the design into the emulator, it behaves just like the real chip. From a behavior point of view, it, ex it behaves exactly like the, the real chip. The difference is, this emulator runs slower than the real chip. So that is one of the big differences. But from a behavior point of view, from the functionality point of view, it behaves exactly like the real chip. So once we have the GPU, so typically what do we do? You know, we take the GPU, put it on a graphics card. We take the graphics card and put it into the PC or the laptop, right? That's exactly what we do here. So if I'll show you one thing here. So the GPU is inside the emulator, right? So we take the GPU, the, 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 the pins that comes out of the chip, you know, from the emulator we take it and we connect it to the real PC. So here is the GPU that is coming out. These are the pins of the GPU. So you can think of this one as a graphics card, right? So, and we connect the GPU into the, into the real PC. So, once you have a real PC and a GPU that is very close to being a real, you know, real, real GPU that behaves like a real GPU, right? So now you have a platform where you can run all the software that you want. You can boot, you can boot Windows on it. You can boot Linux on it, and you can boot, uh, you know, Mac, you know, OS on it. And once you once you do that, you can run your real games. You can run real world games. You can run the compute uh, functionality, you know, the compute loads, right? So you can run the real world software on it. So this happens for number of months. So while our design team is designing the chip, the design is changing, right? So this process happens close to one year. You know, this emulation process happens for one year. So during this one year, the design is changing. The design team is constantly uh, tweaking the design and changing the design. At the same time, you know, we have a large software team. So the software team is also changing their software. They're writing they are writing new drivers, you know, new software, right? So both the hardware and software are changing, right? So as the design keeps changing and as the software keeps changing, we are continuously testing it in the lab. So when we do this testing, we find problems in the design, we find problems in, in the software too. And as soon as we find them, we fix them and then we retest them again, right? So this process happens for a number of months. So at the end of this, you know, 10 months or one year, the chip is almost perfect and the software is perfect. So it is at that time we say, 
let us send the chip to the fab. So we send the chip out to the fab. So when we send it, we are very confident of the design and the software. So that when the chip comes back from the fab, you know, and we start bringing it up in our, in our silicon, you know, bring up lab, typically what we have seen in few hours, the chip is up and running and it is fully functional. And the reason, you know, why the chip, you know, comes up so fast, relatively fast compared to any other company is because of all the upfront work that we have done, you know, at NVIDIA. And one of them being, you know, the most important, you know, one of the important thing is what we do here in the emulation lab. So when the real chip comes back, you know, we know that the functionality is very good and the performance of the chip is what it is, you know, what we expected it to have. Uh, we give names to all the emulators using a river name. Mm -hmm. So we, we just decided to name, you know, give a name to the emulators. So you will see river names from uh, different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, Shinano, you know, Tigris and Mekong, okay. Yangtze and... Uh, these are, these run on custom processors. We did the PlayStation uh, GPU here as well. So we had a cell, so in this case it is x86 uh, processor. Mm -hmm. So in the case of PlayStation, we had uh, the real uh, PlayStation motherboard, okay. you know, with the cell processor, mm -hmm. okay. uh, you know, in it. And we connected the GPU to that, you know, to that one. Yes. Our chips are getting bigger and bigger. Every two years, the chip, you know, doubles in size. So what it means is we have to uh, build emulators that are double in size. We do put multiple GPUs into these emulators, like for example SLI, okay. uh, you know, technology where you know where it allows you know multiple GPUs to talk to each other, or the NVLink technology mm -hmm. that uh, you know th that we have already advertised, right? So we have to do multi GPUs as well, you know, in, in these. I guess one of the things that we did uh, close to about uh, 16 billion transistors. Uh, what it simulated for, so that product is not announced yet. Oh. I think it'll be it'll it'll be announced very soon. So, uh, but we did you know that particular GPU, which is the largest GPU that we have ever done, you know, close to uh, you know 16 to 18 billion transistors. Yeah, so you'll hear uh, hear about it very soon. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's up to uh, Jensen and, uh, and others. <laughs> yes. So we did it in this lab, or, or in that lab. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs>